Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 4070 Ti in The Last of Us Part 1. This one is the Palette Game Rock Midnight Kaleidoscope version of the card. It's always a mouthful, that one. And we are using it with the latest NVIDIA drivers. I'm not manually overclocking it and you can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z. Resizable bar is also enabled right there. Over on the left, we're pairing it with an i5 13600 at 5.6 gigahertz and 32 gigabytes of RAM, 6000 megahertz DDR5 in dual channel. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's go over the settings first and I want to start it at 1440p because I feel like a lot of people buying this GPU are playing at 1440p and it's aimed at that resolution. No DLSS at the moment. We are slightly going over the VRAM limits because we are using the ultra settings preset here, as you can see, which the game actually defaulted to with this GPU as well. Okay, here we go. This is just where we left it with the RTX 4080. Actually, uh, I think we were on top of that building over there, but we're getting there. Let's get our hunting bow right here. There we go. That's beautiful. I am yet to test it here in this game, actually. Uh, we got to check it out today. Grab the arrow as well, Joel. Thank you very much, and let's go. Ooh, we can actually carry, carry this. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, um, wait, I haven't been down here before. Wait a second. Maybe there's some loot hidden loot around here. No, no, I don't think so. It's only losers like me who will fall here anyways. <laughs> okay, let's go, Ellie. Also, at 1440p, this is doing a really good job. VRAM is almost maxed out. I mean, the, the bar was going over the limits in the options menu, but there is no stuttering to speak of. It feels really good, and it looks really good as well. So let's uh, put this down now. There we go. Hopefully not fall this time around. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, come on, let's go. All right, maybe I'll need the plank again. I'm, I'm gonna bring it with me, guys. Oh, wait, I, I can't really grab it anymore. Okay, well, let, let's move out then. <gasps> wait, 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 go up, 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 up. Joel, Joel, go up. Thank you. I almost didn't notice that one right there. Wait, here we go. Nice headshot right there. Are you serious? I can't grab the arrow anymore. It's broken. Look at that. Here I thought I was gonna have infinite ammo, basically, but no, we do not get that. Also, the 48 he was getting like 100 FPS plus sometimes around here, and this one is in the 80s, so yeah, it's, it's an expected drop in performance here, I guess. So basically, if you have a 1440p monitor, I doubt it will drop from 60 FPS for you with the 4070 Ti at um, ultra settings. It's going to deliver an amazing experience here, to be expected. It's a very expensive GPU and very powerful one as well. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay. All right. Good. Good. Uh, can we grab one of the arrows that I used? No? It's broken. We broke both of the arrows. Are you serious? Ah, okay, well, at least we got some bullets here. Also, if I was in, in a zombie apocalypse like this one, I, I think I would actually grab like a pillow or something to chill sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like needed, but it would be nice to have. I mean, it's certainly better than like a GPU during a zombie apocalypse, right? By the way, I'm skipping the cutscenes, so I don't really spoil a lot of things to you guys. Um, but yeah, th this area is really awesome to benchmark in, actually. It has a lot of vegetation, and it's intensive. Lens flares are looking awesome in this game. I really like those. Oh, there are a couple of more of these things. Maybe we can actually re hit... Yes! Oh my god! Okay! Yeah... Uh... That didn't go as expected. <laughs> but that was fun, and we got 69 FPS, 1% lows after the, the loading screen there, so that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna grab the brick again and do this again, guys. Be careful. Maybe we gotta do it from we inside of here, you know? Oh, wait, we, we gotta loot the... Yeah, there we go. We gotta loot the house again, we don't have the things anymore. Okay, here we go. Now I know what to expect, so everything will be fine, guys. We're gonna do it with the brick. Let's go. Zambi! Where are you, boy? I heard you! There he is! No! I missed! Are you serious? No, no, okay. No, 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 don't! don't. Thank you, Ellie! 
Thank you for using your shift to do this. Maybe we should try it with some DLSS, right? I don't know, it's pretty stable around this area anyways. What the hell was that camera adjustment? Uh, all right, there we go. Bullets. Oh, another PC. Wait a second. Can we see the PC? Where is it? Where is it? I only see the monitor. Is this an all-in-one? I doubt it, though. It doesn't look like one. Of course, console people made this video game first, right? So they, they didn't bother to put an actual PC here, or maybe it was such a good PC that everybody stole it. At the beginning of the apocalypse, I don't know. Whoa, boy! All right, then. It's dropping into the 70s, by the way, but... Uh, into the 60s now, even. Interesting. Probably because of the depth of field effects. But yeah, uh, it is very, 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 very good <laughs> with the 4070 Ti. Super smooth and stable. All right, guys, we're now playing at 1440p using quality DLSS. And, uh, oh boy, okay, okay. <laughs> stop, stop, I'm pressing F. I'm pressing F. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, shoot him in the head. There it is. Oh, dad, you stop as well, god damn it. <laughs> what the heck? All right, this is a lot of action to start the video with. Oh, well, actually, I recorded the uh, non-DLSS stuff, native resolution, yesterday, guys. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. And then I have... Then I had a little bit of a pause <laughs> to test the single core system in this game. That was a beautiful video, my friends. You gotta check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and now we are back here. Let's reload up. No. <laughs> Let's go. I think I'm blind sometimes. How didn't I see this one close to us? There is, a, is that a cricket? Cri cri clicker, clicker, yes. Cricket. <laughs> there we go. All right, nice. Good job. Reload. Is it not dead? Okay, no, it is dead now. Finally. We're good. We're good. Everything is okay. DLSS quality performance is actually quite good, as you can see, close to 100 frames per second. Okay, okay. Let's go. Uh, okay, finally, finally she did it. All right, we're good. Now, as I was saying, the LSS is quite decent here in performance. It looks very close to native resolution at 1440p, but it's a little bit over-sharpened, I feel. So, that's, that's another person. It's not Ellie. Oh, hello there. Is it Bill? I think so. Okay, good stuff. God, no, I'm just gonna run for it. <laughs> well, it was already getting 60 plus FPS all of the time. God. At the uh, native resolution, so it's gonna be fine, of course, with DLSS. Jesus Christ. Uh, can't even talk properly. I'm sorry, guys. It's very stressful. Anyways, very good. <laughs> There is no need to play with DLSS, basically, is what I'm saying here, unless you want a little bit uh, higher refresh rate of an experience. No stuttering, by the way, it's actually super damn smooth. Well, now that I talk about it, we got a couple of frame time spikes there, but yeah, it is definitely very doable. If you want that a little bit higher refresh rate experience, DLSS is there for you guys. I'm going to skip the cinematics because I don't want to spoil a lot of things to you, okay? <laughs> and we should probably move on from 1440p to 4K, right? Let's try it out at 4K native first. We're running out of VRAM, by the way. It's using 13.8 gigabytes at this point. Is it going to crash? No, okay. There we go, 13.81. And, okay, 2160p, no DLSS. At this resolution, I really feel like DLSS is needed. For those of you with the 4070 Ti, at least... But, you know, you might still be able to achieve like 30 plus FPS all of the time, which is okay. You know, it's not perfect, but it is definitely okay. Yeah, I feel like since we are running out of VRAM heavily here uh, at 4K resolution, it's just going to stutter a bit too much for it to be enjoyable. Even if you don't care about the 30 FPS experience and you're fine with that. Get out, Ellie. Come on, come on. Yeah, that stutter is just too much and it makes things unplayable. So do not use uh, 4K resolution with this card, unfortunately. That's interesting because usually this is a good 4K GPU. It's not perfect. It doesn't get 60 plus FPS in a lot of titles at max settings. But, you know, if you play on high, for example, it can do so. Uh, but yeah, enabling DLSS, by the way, I didn't really see the, um, the bar. 
There we go, it puts us slightly over the VRAM limit, so now we shouldn't really have a problem because the game is rendering at 1440p and upscaling it to 4K, that's the LSS quality, and we gain a ton more FPS. The frame time is now really, really smooth compared to what it was before. So let's continue, 70 frames, that's, that's pretty good actually. All right, finally outside, and the FPS actually do drop a little bit from 60 outside, as you can see. Yeah, so 50s, oh, lower 50s at times, interesting. Look at that, so whenever I move the camera around, yeah, it can go down to 54. So still not perfect, but it's it's getting there, you know? I think with balanced DLSS, it is gonna get there. And of course, if you play this on high instead of ultra, it will also get you those 60 plus using the LSS on quality as well. But all right, now with balanced DLSS, things are looking similar, a little bit more over sharpened. I can tell the difference actually. In a lot of titles, you can't really tell much of a difference at 4K. Oh my God, okay, okay, okay. What, what should we do, Bill? Should we run? Like, come on, let's go Ellie this way, this way maybe, no, okay, never mind. Oh, he did? No, wait, what the heck? Let's go, beat the crap out of these guys, let's do this. Uh, cricker, cr why do I keep calling crickers? Oh boy, it's clickers, clickers because they click. Don't you hear the clicks? Like, that, that doesn't really sound like a click to me, but okay. It's close enough to a 60 plus FPS experience all of the time for me to say that if you're playing at 4K, this is a decent experience. Doesn't really stutter too much either now that we are on balanced DLSS. It stuttered a little bit more on quality for sure. And uh, yeah, I could I could recommend this experience for sure, especially if you lock the frames so it stays even a bit smoother. Um, also, 58, <laughs> starting to drop again. Let's try performance. On performance, it actually renders the game at 1080p and it's still running out of VRAM just very slightly by six megabytes. And on performance, you do gain a ton more FPS. So instead of 59, we're at 70s. Looking in this direction, it looks surprisingly close to um, the LSS balanced here. That's interesting. Balanced and performance DLSS are really similar, so you might as well just play on performance DLSS, I guess. Textures are still looking all right because they're on ultra. Oh, we just found a shotgun with bullets. That's great. All right, dude. Amazing. Let's go. 130s inside of here. This is the thing with linear titles. You never know when or where the FPS are going to drop by a lot. You know, there could be only a single scene in the entire game where the FPS dropped from 60, for example. And of course, if you watch other people's benchmarks and it takes place in another area of the game, things are inevitably going to be very different. So I suggest you to watch other videos as well to see different scenarios and stuff like that. Beautiful lighting inside of here, by the way. Look at those god rays right there. Yeah. I like it, you know, overall the graphics look very good. They're not like anything super amazing, but they're good. Like the lighting, the dynamic shadows, for example, right there, you can see, very beautiful. Let's drop down here, all right. Look at the reflections, by the way. They're on ultra, but they're very low quality. It's not ray traced reflections, okay? So you, you, you don't really want to stand on puddles and take a look at the reflection. They, they do a decent job at like reflecting things around you, but they're very low quality for sure. Should we try the shotgun? There we go. All right. I'm not gonna save the bullets, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. We got some more ammo for the pistol here. Oh yeah, or, oh, they drop ammo as well for the shotgun. That's interesting. Jesus! Okay, Joel, reload. It's okay, it's okay! Damn it, I missed one shot. There we go. <laughs> Ellie, are you alright? <laughs> oh, I like this part of the game to test GPUs at. We got a lot of vegetation, we can get a good feel of how the weapons handle at the FPS that we're testing, of course. Oh, these aren't clickers, so we should be able to take care of them like this. Oh! Oh! Well... Maybe not like this. <laughs> All right, Joel, you do that. Damn. <laughs> That's good. Good. 
Really nice. Now I'm gonna disable the LSS, go down to 1080p. There we go, 1920 by 1080 native first, ultra settings. I know a few people are actually playing games on a 4070 Ti at a 1080p resolution, although I don't really recommend it because you know, it's just, it does a really amazing job at 1440p, so there's no need. All right, well, that, that was really terrible, actually. <laughs> uh, I was trying to shiv her, but it didn't really work. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you, you do that, Bill. Kill the bastard. Waste your ammo. There it is. Good job. Good job. Did they drop something? No, I don't think so. Let's uh, find out what's inside of this house, I guess. 100 FPS, by the way, instead of like 80s and 70s previously. That's the thing, like, the LSS on performance in 4K was actually running at 1080p resolution internally and then upscaling it, but it's not as easy to run as native 1080p, as you can see. It's getting way higher FPS right now, kind of a higher refresh rate experience as well. I can't use the fists anymore for some reason. Like, yeah, why can't I use the fit? Oh boy! No, that's not what I meant to do, but well, I guess that works as well. No! How can I use the fists? Oh, F! I, yeah, I totally forgot. Okay, I was trying to like do this, but he did nothing. All right, well, we can see some fire effects. Are we cozy here? I'm enjoying this part of the game a lot more than the previous parts of the game, some of them. All right, grab all of this ammo right here, arrows. Very good. Also, I saw it dropping to like 95 over here for some reason. Now it's not dropping anymore. And it's buttery smooth as well, by the way. And it's eating 11 gigabytes of VRAM. So I wonder how like a 3080 10 gigabyte GPU would do. Anyway, lastly, I want to use the LSS and at 1080p, I'm going to increase the sharpness a bit, maybe like 41%. Not on performance, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, th this is probably gonna become CPU bound. Yeah, GPU usage is starting to fluctuate a bit more, but uh, some people actually like the look of the LSS better than native resolution. So for those like two of you that are playing at 1080p and will prefer the LSS, well, this is for you. <laughs> you can get a little bit higher frames per second than we saw previously. Yeah, look at that. Now it's just super CPU bound. GPU usage is dropping down into the 70% range. So basically at this point, we're seeing what the 13600K can do at 5.6 gigahertz and not really what the GPU can do at 1080p with the LSS quality. So I'll leave it right there for the 4070 Ti test. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out the single core test that I made in this game. That was pretty interesting again. Um, and yeah, see you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.